W, took me a week to get you. I suppose you were so busy on the phone last week coming down out of Kildare. Better late than never. Exactly. Um, we'll stick with the mare. Um, follow up from her last week, Magic Boom. She did exactly what you said she'd do. Um, she came out of the race really well as well. Yeah, not delighted with the way she came out of the race, David. I'm sure, to be fair, as I said to you beforehand there on the Tuesday evening when you're out, I'm sure her homework was very good at home. You know, just getting a guide off the horses that had ran a couple of weeks previous to that. So we were um, we were well bullish, to be fair, going down there. But yeah, thankfully it paid off. And she, she, she was very impressive when she won. And uh, yourself and Tom Draper's horse um, pulled well clear of everything else. Yeah, the, um, listen, grounds was testing, you know, um, nice track. Um, listen, it was a, a nice paddock of mares beforehand. And as you say, touching on Tom's mare there, listen, two, two, two nice mares, I'd say, going forward over there. So. And I'd say the token could have a bright future ahead of him. We'll see her in Cheltenham on Thursday week. Yep, that's the plan. All, all going well, we're, we're heading to Cheltenham. So, yeah, that's the plan, David. Good. Um, the day previous to that, then, um, they want me, uh, son of Sageburg, in Punchestown. So that set you up for a lovely weekend. Uh, yeah. He was a very good winner, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, he, listen, he was a fine big noble horse, a derby, derby purchase. Um, Sire, listen, might be everyone's cup of tea, but listen, I like the sire. I, I had a nice mare there um, a couple of years ago there by the same sire, and she she won um she won a couple of couple of no she actually won a pint for me, and she's had to win two or three races there for John Joe, and um, that's all. Yeah, the sire sire had done nothing wrong wrong to me, so I went and bought another one, and sure that was him. And of course, that was a two and a half mile maiden in Punchestown that day, so he's a sharp enough horse. Yeah, listen, nice paddock of horses, five or six lined up again. You know, you had plenty of you know. Plenty of fancy yeah, ones on the day. Ones. The sires were there, listen, the trainers were there, so to be fair, it was, it was nice to come out on the right side of it as well. Uh, horses are flying. Another winner here today in Boris House. Uh, Bride Rovers ABU. A ABU yeah. tell, tell us about the name there. What's? Um, I think it's actually uh, a soccer team blowing car. There, there, was a, there was a chap there who used to be with me last year there, and that was his local soccer team. So he named that for that. I'm actually not daily, I'm putting down them names and thinking about it, so I said here. Put down something so that's how that came about um you two horses in contention um you unfortunately lost a horse yeah. at the second last who was in front at the time that brian dunleavy yeah. was riding but tell us about this winner he'd one run i know um you were a little bit disappointed with him when he finished sixth in balanabula and uh, he wasn't right really right after that was he no possibly listen to, listen there was a bit of a cloud over a couple of them there listen i didn't run um i didn't run a four-year-old in balanabula you know scope scope wasn't saying go ahead with it so I'd say he was probably just maybe coming out with something as well the day we did run him a bell and a bowler, but um, to be fair, he, he done the business today there and he, he seems a nice a nice sort as well, to be fair. As I touched on, uh, yeah. very sad to, to yeah, lose sad there, yeah. a nice Falco horse as well. Um, Quantum Quest, he was third in the first for you today. I spoke to Derek O'Connor earlier on. They think a huge amount of the JP horse um, shuffled the deck very impressive walk in the park but you're only a couple of lengths down um yeah. behind uh, derek and cormac doyle's yeah, horse yeah. this is a nice horse this lad isn't it yeah listen we actually touched we touched them um, we touched on the sire there at idaho when you're out there on the the tuesday you've all, of yeah. course you've already had a winner by idaho. exactly yeah so as i say listen the, the sire seems um a1 in my my book anyway to be fair very genuine and as i say i'd like to have another few of them in the yard but yeah he ran it he ran a cracker there to be fair in defeat now he's at losing nothing because I'd say it was a, a very good maiden to be fair. Um, 12 shot up, big field. Listen, plenty of sires there again. You had the trainer power. It looked, a, it looked a smart maiden. I'd say there'll be plenty of nice horses that will definitely come over. Good racing here today, wasn't Good it? Good racing, yeah. No, no. A lovely crowd. And in fairness to Morgan Cabin there and the Cabin family of, of Boris there now to have it uh, turned out in unbelievable um, order to be fair. When the horses are in such good form like this, W, is it just a case of trying to get as many of them out as possible when they're ready? Sure, yeah, you, you could say that, Davey, but you know, you have to have all the boxes ticked, like you have to have your, you know, your, your couple of schooling sessions done and whatever. But, but, um, having them healthy is probably number one, to be fair. And they seem to be in good order there at the moment. So, listen, we'll, we'll do our best to, to keep, the, keep the thing rolling the way it's, the way it's rolling at the moment, try to get out as many as we can there when they are in. In good old Nick. Don't worry now, I'm not gonna put the gun to your head again. <laughs> we, we, we've done that a couple of years now. You're two from two from that, and we might wait till next season to do it again. Yeah. But is there anything there we should look out for in the coming weeks? Another four year olds? We just leave it. There's, there's plenty of nice horses there, so we won't be putting myself under that pressure, to be fair, you know. But we have plenty more, though. Plenty of, plenty of nice horses there to run yet, so good. hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll keep turning them out there for the next few weeks. And that's so, all. Listen, if to stay healthy is the, the main thing in shirt here. The, the boys in the yard are 
fairly churned in and they'd tell you whether they're right or wrong to be fair they're riding them every day of the week and if you hadn't got them either the thing the thing wouldn't be rolling the way it's rolling so good that's the way I did it long may it last please god yeah thank you